Right, so this video is about an update, as the title says, uh, for XBMC MU station. Now, it's been a while since I've done a video uh, regarding these, um, but a lot's changed. Uh, mainly it's a quality of life update, so basically what that means is I've tried to make it more user friendly, so simpler, easier to understand. Um, the file structure is basically the same. Uh, so to install ROMs, artwork, uh, emulators is all the same, but the menu system is slightly different. <coughs> Excuse me. So now the UI settings is organised better, so it's all organised in alphabetical order. Um, you can disable the fast game parsing. Uh, the reason you would do that is if you like watching dialogues, um, progress dialogues. If you don't, just leave it off. The disable uh, slow scrolling will allow you to scroll fast like that. If it's enabled, then it will slow at a constant rate. So it's just, it makes it look nicer. Um, with this and with the fast game loading or the faster game parsing, they need to be restarted. Um, now, when you toggle them, you'll get an OK dialogue. Same with update checks. Um, update checks require you to enable the internet synchronization option in the Appearance International tab, which is right down the bottom. Um, it's on by default. If it's not on, just go in and toggle it on. If it's not toggled on, then you won't get the update prompt, it won't check. Don't know why. Um, I've moved stuff about in the network set, the network code in XBMC. I've not really looked much into it because you just toggle a toggle on. It'll automatically set your time as well for you, so it's a no-brainer kind of option. Disable festive overlay. Um, from the 23rd to the 28th of, de of December, it will snow on the dashboard. So on the home screen, you'll see snow. Um, you can disable that if you don't want it. Home screen customization is relatively the same. Uh, but now you can have 10 custom tiles. Um, I increased it by another 5 because then that should cover the foreseeable future. You're not going to want more than 10. Um, now, <coughs> excuse me. Um, now when you highlight a custom tile, it won't pop down the V information tab because there's no need. Um, just like options, these are direct launch only and it's always going to be that. Uh, another thing is it now says favourites here. Um, I used to get a lot of questions asking what system is this, how to add ROMs to it, I can't work out how it works. It's favourites. Um, <coughs> Amiga, the script to, that creates the game list files and stuff like that, scans in ROMs, etc. has now been updated to work with the Amiga files. Um, because they come in two separate formats, they come in a hard disk image and I think they come in a ROM format or a disk format, I'm not, I can't remember, it was a while ago I'd done it. Um, all the scripts have been updated uh, because they've been cleaned up, improved upon, um, mainly because of the back end changes I made. So now, themes there's now themes. Uh, before it was layouts, now it's themes. So themes are basically folders with everything. There are self-contained folders now. I'll just quickly show you. Um, uh, oh yeah, the S drive is now the themes folder. That will take you straight into the themes folder. So this way you can create a new theme and you don't have to go through Q.MU station themes. Just simpler. So, simple as the default theme. This theme cannot be removed. If you remove this theme, uh, you'll get a fatal error. So, every other theme can be deleted. This one can't. But this is what a theme looks like now. Or this is what the default theme looks like. This is the only one that looks different from the rest. So, Artbook, for example, is a layouts folder. A... Uh, a TTF file, which is a true type font file, uh, just a Windows font, or they're used in Windows. 
um, your dot .xpr which is the textures, the color dot .xml which is the colors for that theme, your preview which is displayed in the menu when you select it, and also you can have a custom splash. So if you have a splash.png it will override the default splash. Layouts, you have to have default, faves, home as the carousel or whatever you want to create so you can have any layout you want in the home screen and Xbox for specific Xbox stuff. You don't have to have an Xbox one. If you don't have a layout folder, it will just use the default simple one. So as an example, we have simple alt, which just replaces the blood backgrounds with non blood ones. You don't need all the folder structure. It will just use the simples one. But that's how themes work now. So themes are now self-contained and easy to delete, easy to install. So all the themes, the only theme that comes with MU Station now is the simple theme. All these other themes here, you have to download via the downloader. Um, and I'll show you the downloader. Yep. Okay, it's running the old version. There'll be a new version of the downloader as well, re released alongside this and the gamers update. Um, which will require a version 1.2 or later version of the skins. The reason being is because of the back end, so the file structure is different now, or the themes installed and stuff are different, so I had to force these to update. If these are running an older version, these won't be able to use the downloader. These can update via the downloader, no problem, so basically there's no excuse not to. Uh, the refresh carousel has been fixed now, it won't remove the Xbox tab. Um, that's really kind of it. I guess I'll show you in the sounds. No. Um, themes are just the same, you just cycle through them. And I'll quickly show you the artbook theme and I'll show you a uh, custom splash working. So. This is the art book theme. Um, can't remember the person who done it, but it's a GitHub. It was on GitHub. Basically, all the themes you see, I have to recreate uh, in XBMC. Um, so it's not like I just take the folder and I put it on and it works. You have to recreate all the layouts manually because the skin and engines are completely different. But that's the fun of it. So all the tools to do it are they're on my GitHub anyway, so you can use that to do it all. Um, there's batch files that will convert SVG files to PNG to the proper size, so it's all automated for the most part. That's just the XML files you'll need to create. So hopefully you can look at a theme file now and you can see how it's laid out and how to make them and people start porting themes over so that I don't have to do it all the time. Um, but Xbox, as we're on the subject just now, the Xbox menu, as you can see this is the synopsis layout for the art book theme. Um, it's different somewhat from the official one that you would see on the RetroPie um, or Emulation Station um, because I just changed it so that it looks better on the Xbox. Um, the synopsis for Xbox has been updated as well, so now you get player counts. As you can see, now it tells you the player count. Um, some graphical stuff has been updated, so enable fan art toggle. There's now like a wee uh, box with an X in it. I've done that just to kind of match emu, uh, emu station or emulation station on the PC and stuff like that. Not all use that, but I liked it. Um, what else? The loading up the top left is now a couple of dots, just like gamers. Um, it just looks nicer, looks more professional than a wee spinny thing. Um, I hated the spinny thing, that just looks nicer. So, I'll reload and you can see the splash. The intro now works before any of the skins loaded, that way intros will, intros will always work. So, just use a format that you know is going to work in Xbox. Um, so that you don't end up putting a file on that's too big or it's going to crash the Xbox because the bit rate's too high. Basically anything that's, I don't know, just put a video that's like 480, 
you know, what 720 to 480p should look fine on the Xbox. Um, I'll quickly enable the intro video. So this video is 720 to 480. No, it's not because. All right. No, it's not because I deleted the video. Uh, I can't remember what the resolution is in this one, but you'll see the intro video play now. And it loads straight in. So, intros should be fixed. Um, I'll put batch files on my GitHub as well to convert your videos. You just put them in a folder, you double click the batch file, it gives you the file to use. Simple. Um, so, uh, you've seen the custom splash, so I'll show you another one. So, I'll show you, as I call it, Exodor Dora. Um, this one's based off of Adora, which is a theme. Um, I like to look at that theme, so I recreated it in XBMC Emu Station. But, aye, that's kind of. Oh, um, now when you press back, there's a delay now, so. There used to be a problem where if you were hitting the back button too much, you would load up the screensaver and you'd be stuck in the screensaver and you'd need to restart, soft reboot, whatever. Um, that's been fixed now. So you can't just tap it and it'll constantly go in. It doesn't, I made it delayed, so that fixed that problem. <sighs> the rest of the stuff. Um, change log. So most of the stuff there, so there's 24 changes, um, there's a lot more changes than that, but they're the kind of ones that I remembered. Most of the changes are back-end stuff that helps me do stuff and it helps you create stuff. So you'll be able to create themes and stuff like that and you'll be able to use the special commands. So if you look at my themes, you will see that there's special commands to get to a specific theme. So if you want to call a texture from a specific theme so if you want to use textures from the simple theme then you could use themes root simple and then the media folder and then whatever the texture was in your theme or you can just use the special theme and it'll use it'll jump to whatever that themes media folder is so let's read the change log you'll see um acknowledgements been updated as well um obviously some of the themes that I recreated, I've put the thing there in here. I'll actually need to move that up a bit. Because um, it's down the bottom. So I'll fix that before I do anything. Um, but, aye, that's XBMC EMU Station. It's version 1.2. Um, it's basically just a clean up, a slight improvement to make people create themes simpler. And just a load of fixes that were left for the last release, the version 1.04, uh, 1 uh, 040. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's quality of life changes, basically. Just make everything nice and it functions now. Uh, artwork, uh, you can just now hammer the living hell um, out of the artwork and it'll just, the only downside is if you use huge large assets and stuff, it'll slow down. Um, there's a problem with XBMC or the latest versions where the internal JP, JPEG decoder will, if it gets to zero uh, megabytes of RAM, it will stop rendering thumbnails. Couldn't fix it, couldn't work out why, couldn't get it to reinitialize, like reset itself once it did. So basically what I do is, it's meant to, well, what it's meant to do is fall back onto image lib. If it can't, it doesn't for some reason. No matter what I've done, it would never fall back. Um, so what I do now is if the memory goes below 2 megabytes, it'll fall back to image lib. Which means you can just 
scroll through artwork and you can just go mad. You can have your artwork, whatever you want. And the only downside is it might load slightly quicker. You might get a little judder. But that fixes gamers, it fixes MU station, it fixes any render problems, black tiles appearing or images not appearing at all. It stops the XBMC from crashing when it you know, hits a halt and because it runs at a RAM. Fixes all that. So you can hit zero megabytes and it still all works. So um previews as well. Scroll back. Um Preview videos, uh, the exact same with gamers. Um, now, when a preview video is work loading, you can let it go all the way to the end, and it won't reload the menu. Um, the reason it was doing that was because it was creating, excuse me, creating save states or bookmarks in the video mode. Um, and what that done was reloaded the games menu or reloaded a menu. Don't know why, but it done it. But it's fixed now, so uh, just works better. So, like I said, quality of life changes, fixes. This should be it done, and I shouldn't need to update it for the foreseeable future. It should just work for everything. Obviously, if there's bugs, let me know. I'll fix it. Uh, you need to handle stuff. Let me know. I'll fix it. And since it's the 19th of December, Merry Christmas, uh, when it comes along. So, yeah, thank you, and have a good Christmas.